So today's been a great day. Uh, we got up at half four this morning, jumped in the car, drove from Nottingham to Manchester. So got here just before eight o'clock, set up in the room and, uh, and then yeah, started testing. This is the final robot. So this is the new piece, the vision sensor. That's connected to the microprocessor and that's what tells it how much to correct for terminal velocity and position. This is a glove that we modified with a very bright colorful fabric and that's because the vision sensor actually tracks color not shapes. So it's gonna try to keep the orange dot in the center of the, the field of view. When we're actually using it to skydive, hopefully we're not gonna need the skydiver to be holding up a hand like this because you need your hands. So maybe we'll track your helmet or, uh, or your, your rig, your parachute. I'm just turning it on now. So now if I show it the orange, it should track it. Look down, there you go. <laughs> Someone needs to hold it still because it's rocking about. <laughs> also, when you tilt the camera down, that means that whatever you're tracking is below it. So it slowly retracts the fall rate flaps. So if you look at the flaps, you point the camera down and they start coming in because it means it needs to fall faster, create less drag. That's it, pretty simple really. We've flown lots of things, but uh, we've not done much testing like this. Okay, so, awesome. Yeah. So what's going to happen is Dave's going to be flying, um, working out the fall rates and, and so forth, and then relaying that back to Pete, and Pete's going to be sitting in the airlock and then just changing the control system. Do you know when you sort of plan things over in your minds and uh, think about them and then yeah you're actually here and it's actually happening now so no it's awesome they're just closing the airlock now um, and then once that's on they'll start the tunnel I've got butterflies in my stomach cool so they've just started the, the airflow yeah here we go we're up to cool. 37 miles that's lifting off way earlier than it. yeah that is lifting off way earlier can see this change in the speed when the flaps come in and out um, it seems to be quite heavy I don't know if that's because the because the guy's got the handle I don't know if that's affecting it much don't let go Dave so at the moment we're trying to work out the vertical speed using the drag flaps and you can see they're coming in and out uh, from the side I can't work out if it's actually going up because of the flaps there you yeah, go yeah, yeah, that yeah. is good it's good so you can see it's moving up and down depending on where the glove is don't drop it There it was running at about 83 miles an hour or something like that. So you can see that David's not floating. Um, but yeah, when, when we have the parachute in there, which will add another kilo or so, we expect the full rate to be the same. <laughs> so at the moment, um, it's too light basically. So you can see like it's flying around quite quickly and stuff. So but it's promising. <clears throat> it's definitely moving around in the right way and behaving as it should. <laughs> Roughly. <laughs> I mean, that's the first time it's ever been um, flying essentially. So. It looks like we're testing the aerofoils, so on the first one that you just saw, we were just checking how the flaps work to uh, vary its terminal velocity, but this time we're having a look to see how the aerofoils move it around. Oh, that is so good! That is really promising. That is really promising. That was awesome. Yeah, that's pretty interesting actually. Um, I certainly didn't expect to see that when I came in this morning. <laughs> when you told me about it, I didn't think it was going to look as good as that. I walked in and that is good. <laughs> that awesome. looks good. Skydiving is all about looking cool, so we're, we're, half, we're halfway there. <laughs> <laughs> this is what you told me on my first day, Ali. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you haven't paid attention yet. <laughs> so what are the hand signals um, that Pete, have you got? I don't actually know. They, they were doing this last night. Um, I know a few of them. Tom, Tom's been clued yeah. in. I, I wasn't there, but. <laughs> They've got like D and P. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Pete. So I think they'll be testing how it moves away and towards the camera, so to keep the right distance. Yeah, nice. Oh, that's good, that's good. It's slightly lagging. So yeah, both the drag flaps are out, so it's going to be creating loads of drag. Um, they're back in now, it's good. But uh, it's a bit of a worried look on Dave's face. Now <laughs> they're back out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's great. It's still too floaty, which is good because 
adding more weight is a lot easier than taking weight off. Yeah, it's gonna you can see it was turning round yeah. a bit, so that's because we haven't got the aerofoils working yet. Um, on the next run we're going to have the aerofoils going and we should hopefully see it turning back to face David a bit more. Uh, but yeah, oil, oil, pretty good for a first test. There's three variables that we're changing for each of the four um, sort of control modes. So there's the camera, there's vertical control, there's turning and there's um, distance. So we're changing three parameters for each of those, uh, trying to optimise them to make the robot move at the right sort of rate. Floating around. <laughs> so good. Oh, yes! That was, that you was, can that was really see good. the airfoils going shh 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 shh. Right, moving around. And towards the end there, he was holding it with two fingers and it was following me and going forwards and back, just what we expect, just what we wanted it to do. So, yeah, over the moon, it's great. Could do a bit of tuning to make it smooth, but no, other than that, I think we're in a good place. So the more space you give, these become very stable. If you're very close, you always go backwards. And because I was holding Malibu before, I didn't feel he was pushing backwards. Yeah. That is why it was easy to make him turn. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. We're testing everything now. So flaps come, coming out and the aerofoil's moving. So yeah, this is literally everything. <laughs> the time is, what is the time? It's a good question. 12 o'clock, midday, there you go. Uh, we got here at 8 o'clock, so it's, uh, it's been a long day so far. Um, but yeah, as I say, we've got some time to kill. This is chocolate bar wrapped in a bag. Mock pilot shoot. Three, two, one. Yeah! yeah! <laughs> Yeah, those were the last tests of the day. We changed a few of the control parameters. So how fast it reacts to things and how much um, input it makes to correct errors. It seems to be jerking a lot and moving back and forth. And we think the reason for that is the X's on the walls of the tunnel are close to the same color as the, this orange. So it picks them up and starts going towards one and then being undecisive and that makes it unstable. The plan is to take the pictures from the session and figure out what the best color to use is so that it doesn't conflict with anything in the tunnel and then use that as our new color signature. All in all, we're very happy with it. It's, uh, it was a bit lighter than we expected, so we had to weigh it down. But it's, it's stable, it hovers, and in one occasion we got it to come towards and away from my hands and track it for about 10 seconds, so that was, that was good. <laughs> Good results for it. It's never been done before. So, so yeah, we've got a we've got a lot to do. Um, mainly down to the control. We need to fine tune the weight. Um, it was slightly too light, but that's just down to maybe the parachute that we haven't yet acquired. Um, so, with that added on, might be all right. Um, we're going to be back in the uh, horizontal wind tunnel, uh, testing the coefficients of drag um, again, fine tuning that. And the time is what? Just gone five o'clock. It's gone five, so it's been a long day, everyone's shattered. But um, yeah, really happy with the results, and uh, yeah, can't wait to get back here. Closing pin opens, lid opens, pilot chute comes out. Yeah, it's one of the few parts that you can actually see from outside, so we wanted a nice finish, and I think that's quite nice. Also, because we were going to make it by computer, we optimized the inside to save some weight. So yeah, came out quite nice.